had this awning for three months now and it's been great uh, in the rain it's been good in the snow highly recommend it uh, right now we're out here at the lake it's pouring but nice and dry under here and it's actually pretty good material it's holding up nicely and so I just thought I'd give you a quick uh, overview of it and then we'll get into the installation it's a very simple installation you can find the link uh, in the description so first off uh, this awning it's a smitty built and it's actually a very good quality uh, the bag itself is fairly thick material it's got good zippers in it and inside if you look it's got a, a lot of these straps so there's not just a few straps there's quite a few straps to hold uh, the awning in there so let's open it up I'll just show you what it looks like so it's got these these straps in here that hold all the awning in you just undo the straps Now you can see the awning material, just come in here a little closer. The awning material itself is actually fairly thick and on the back side it's got a waxy covering to help it seal. So it's not just a sun awning, these things actually do keep the rain off also. But I like that it's got this stitching at the end that will stop it from fraying. All the uh, straps underneath are sewn in. It seems to be pretty, pretty decent quality, especially for the price. Like you can, I think you may be able to get better quality, but for the price, it's hard to beat. So we're just going to unroll it right to the end. And then we're going to take the feet. You can see the feet under here. We're going to just take the feet and we're going to unfold them and then undo them just so that they're close to the ground. Now back in here you can see these bars, so those bars get pulled out and then put into here. So here's the Smitty built awning. Uh, it's this is the 2784 model, so it's a uh, beige colored inside, and then it's an eight foot model. I figured that would fit well on my six by ten trailer. Give me a little bit of space on either side. I don't want to catch branches and stuff, so I can set it back a little bit from both ends of the trailer. So I've got the hardware package out here. It looks like it comes complete with a lot of the stuff you'll need. The thing that I'm little not uh, not too impressed with is uh, we've only got one or two brackets for this eight foot uh, awning. I thought at least you'd throw a bracket maybe in the middle. So to have just and it says to place them as far apart as possible. I'm not sure. Maybe this um, this bar here is reinforced enough that it can take the weight, and they figure that that these two brackets are are enough, but. I've got a good chunk of aluminum bar. I'm just debating whether I bend it and stick it in there and uh, drill it, get it all ready. Anyways, I'll worry about that in a bit. Right now I'm just sliding the bolts. So the way that it works is the bolts get slid into this rail here. Through This is probably the hardest part, I think, of the whole install is trying to get the bolt in that slot back inside this thing so anyways I've got this one in doing the other side I'll, I'll slide them in get them about here and then if you've watched my build you know that up top I've got my solar panels and I built a rail system especially for this I knew this was coming so 
that's what I'm going to tie into is that rail that goes across the whole top. And again, I'm just going to use the same type of system that I used for my uh, solar panels. So these slide down those that rail. And then that'll give me uh, a nice good size bolt. It's a little bit bigger than the bolts that go through here. So I'm going to have to drill this a little bit fatter. And then I'll put a nice big washer and then Loctite these things together. So once you get the bolt slid in, next step's pretty simple. We've got our bracket. Basically, you can put it in whichever way gets you the clearance or the position you wanted. I guess you could probably even do it this way if you wanted to drop it down maybe a little bit lower. But uh, just because we want to go out a little ways to clear the end of my trailer, I'm going to do it this way. So this is the profile. This is how I'll put it on. The back bracket, I'm going to have to cut a little bit back here just to clear, clear my solar panel. And then I'll bolt it through here. So I got to drill these a little bit bigger and uh, cut that back bracket. But let's get this thing mounted up. Okay, so here's our final product, what our installation looks like. So you can see that bracket here goes across, ties into these uh, Unistrut rails, and then it's bolted down, and it's very solid. And then all the way at the front, same thing. So I got it fairly close, so it won't catch the branches and stuff. And I also mounted these as close to the end of these rails as possible. If the rail was down here, you might be getting a lot of branches and sticks jammed in there as you're going. So that's what it looks like while it's on there. And it's good once it's set up. There's only a little bit of water that comes down here, very little. And I can leave the door open, the windows open, no water comes in. Let me show you just quickly the setup. So the awning's great. It's easy to put up with two people. You can do it with one but it gives you such a nice spot right in the shade you can sit when it's sunny out like this or yesterday it was pouring rain and we could sit out here and still enjoy the view of the lake or even in Colorado when we were there with the snow coming down just a nice spot you can do a, you know your outdoor cooking put your shoes still on your step and nothing's going to get wet or ruined it's held up pretty good in the wind we've had some pretty good wind storms I like to just put my spare tire I just put it in my spare tire, it holds it from moving, and then I'll just tie down the post, the, the pole to the tire, and it, it's solid, it doesn't move. So, so far, uh, this awning has been great for us, so I highly recommend it, and um, we'll keep you posted.